Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. If you are brand new, then welcome. Thank you so much for opening this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thanks so much for coming back. All right guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a a quick grocery haul. I went to Aldi, which you're gonna find that I'm going to Aldi a lot this time of year because it is number one goal, priority, fixation to save as much money as possible. So my groceries today cost just over $88. I didn't purchase a lot of meat, but I did purchase a little bit. We have some left in our freezer that I'm working through, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I picked up. Um, I am shopping for a family of seven. It's myself and my husband. We have four children who live at home with us and my father-in-law lives with us. So technically we, uh, we have seven people who live here that I am feeding and my grocery budget as of right now for our family is $125 per week. Now I can go into more detail later about why I chose that exact amount, but I'll just briefly tell you that the general recommended is about $100 per person. So my monthly budget will come out to about $600. But since my youngest child is five and my father-in-law really doesn't eat as much as, you know, say my teenagers, I figured that I could probably get away with doing $100 for just the two of them combined. So $600 total, that is going to include every single thing that I need to purchase for our home, including cleaning supplies, any type of paper products, and when we get to go to Costco, y'all know that's gonna eat up some of the budget. So today I spent $88, that leaves me a little bit of money left in my um, cash envelope to save and put towards a Costco trip later this month. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up today. All right, so I'll go ahead and just start over here and share with you what I picked up today. I got two bags of chips. If you've never tried the chips from Aldi, they're actually pretty good and they're a very good price. The cinnamon crunch squares, um, I just got one box of cereal because I want my kids to not depend on cereal as the only option for breakfast. Um, I also got a couple of these boxes of the fruit and grain bars. I got blueberry and I got cherry. I picked up some popcorn. I almost always get our popcorn from Costco, but I'm not gonna be going to Costco for just a little bit. And so I thought this was a pretty good price. It's six bags for like less than $2. So my kids like to have this as a snack. So I picked up that for them to try. I needed some Kleenexes or some facial tissues. So I got two boxes of those, some paper plates just to last us until my kids go back to school next week. I picked up some of the breakfast blend coffee. The um, coffee at Aldi is really good too. Some ranch dressing for my kiddos. I got some of their steak sauce. This is comparable to A1 and it is way, way cheaper. So if you like steak sauce, then definitely give this one a try. I picked up some mayonnaise since we're almost out, two dozen eggs, some of this mild salsa. I did get mild because my kids will also eat this and I want them to be able to enjoy it. I got some sour cream and some cinnamon applesauce. I got some yogurt tubes. Can you guys tell that I have kids that I'm trying to keep stocked up on snacks here? I got two boxes of baking soda. These are for um, both of our refrigerators. I got some broccoli. I'm going to be making some broccoli cheese soup, tomatoes, bananas, two loaves of bread. Kyler told me yesterday that her absolute favorite fruit is grapes and they were on sale this week. So I went ahead and got some grapes for her. Got two packages of the Italian salad mix. These are really good option. If you really want to have a salad, the carb count on them is just one net gram per serving size, about two cups. That's quite a lot. So that's pretty good. That's not a bad option. I got some onions and some mushrooms just for us to have um, to use in recipes. I also got some provolone cheese and some Swiss cheese for sandwiches. I got one gallon of milk because we are still working on um, another gallon here at home. Two blocks of cream cheese because when you're keto, you can never have enough cream cheese. I've never tried this particular kind of rice cauliflower. This is the garlic and herb. And I checked out the carb count on it and it is not bad at all. It's only one net gram of carbs per serving and the serving is three fourths of a cup. So that's really pretty good. That's a larger serving size for less carbs than some of the other cauliflower that I was eating. So I got two of those. Got these for my kiddos to have for lunch. I got some chorizo. 
I'm going to be making some keto chili and I wanted to try chorizo in it. So I got this. Carb count on this was really good as well. Um, as you can see, it is only one net carb. So that's pretty good. And the sugar is less than one gram. So I thought that was really good too. Some chicken drumsticks. I can throw these in the oven and make them as a lunch or a dinner option. And then the last thing I got is their um, grass-fed ground beef was on sale this week. This is a, supposed to be approximately four pounds. I think it's about a pound and a one and a third pounds per little package here. And it was on sale. So I went ahead and got this. This altogether was about $18. But if that's four pounds of meat, that's really not bad. So that is everything that I picked up at Aldi. All right, guys. So that is everything that I picked up while I was at Aldi today. If you enjoy grocery haul videos, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I will be back next week with another grocery haul video for you. And I have a couple of other videos planned that will be coming out before that. So make sure that you stay tuned and until next time you guys take care and be well.